Yo guys, what's going on? Shay Shay here, and today I will be doing a tutorial on how to install Gary's Mod, Gmod, or any other Steam game on your Acer C7 Chromebook. Now, before the, the, the tutorial begins, I need you guys to install either Ubuntu 12.04 or Ubuntu 14.04 through Crouton um, on your Chromebook. And I'll be putting two links in the description below, one for 12.04 and one for 14. Now, once that's out of the way, which I'm just going to let you guys know who might not have that much knowledge on a Chromebook, you can't skip this step. It's mandatory to run Linux. Now, once you have installed this and you're on your Linux web browser, or excuse me, operating system, you're going to go to your web browser. In this case, I'll be using Chromium, which is basically just Chrome. <clears throat> and in your web browser, you're going to search Steam. In Steam, you're going to click on the first link, Welcome to Steam, and you're going to click on the green button, which says Install Steam. Once you do that, go over to Install Steam now, and there we go. It should download Steam Latest, I mean 2.dev. Okay, so, once you have it downloaded, you're going to open the file. My bad, I messed that up. Okay, so once you have it downloaded, you're going to click on Steam Latest Deb. And once you do that, it should open the Ubuntu Software Center. And while it's loading, I'm going to ask you guys, please, I'm going to put a link at the top right. Please subscribe to my channel and please like the video so that whenever somebody stumbles across this video, they'll be like, hey, this is legit. I can trust this video and it will help me. Okay, so once you do that, Steam will pop up. I'm, the Steam Launcher will pop up on the Ubuntu Software Center. To install it, all you're going to do is you're going to click on where mine says reinstall, you're going to click install. Once you do that, it will prompt a passcode window and you're just going to type in your password and it should begin to install. Once it has installed, you can exit out of the Ubuntu Software Center. And it should provide you with a an icon on your desktop and an icon in the launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Steam icon, Steam app, alright, and because mine was already open, it just prompted me, it took me right to the store, but yours, because it's new, it should bring up a login window where you're going to type in your Steam password and username, and if you don't have one, you can easily register for one on the Steam website, it shouldn't take too long, and after you do that, it will begin to install the files and all the mandatory data. Alright, so once you do that, and everything's installed and ready, you should be on the Steam store. From here, you're going to search Gmod. Now, keep in mind you have to have this purchase, blah 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 blah, get a Steam card, buy it. It's $10 on the Steam store, I recommend it, pretty fun game. And you're going to click on the Gmod game, and from here, where mine says play now, yours should say install or download or something of the sorts, and there we go. That's it. That's basically everything you need to do to install Gary's Mod. And just a little reference for the future, when you see a game and it has this little, I believe he's called Tux Penguin, this penguin right here is the icon, the logo if you will, for Linux, as Mac is for, or as the Apple is for Mac, and these uh, squares, I don't even know what that's called, for Windows. So basically whenever you see this penguin, that means that the game that you're on is compatible with, uh, with Linux. So all you're going to do is install that, and there you go. That is it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and remember to subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions or concerns, please leave it in the comments, and I'll try to get to them as fast as I can, and I'll try to reply to them thoroughly so that you can fix your problem. And one thing that I, got, that I have to tell you guys before the tutorial ends is that um, when you open a source game, I think this actually goes for any game, like Team Fortress 2 or Gary's Mod, it's going to bring up an open GL error, like texture, so-and-so. Look up specifically what is on the error, and Google it, and I guarantee you, you'll find a YouTube tutorial within five minutes. And another thing to keep in mind is that for really hardcore games, I mean, not hardcore, but kind of a little bit more demanding games in terms of specs, like Team Fortress 2 and Dota, you're not going to be able to play you're not going to be able to enjoy the game with 2 gigs of RAM. So I recommend if you're going to be playing a lot, install RAM. I mean, buy it and then 
installed on your computer. I mean, it's really easy. If you have a little bit of extra money, download, buy some, and um, you can get it pretty cheap. I have 5 gigs on mine, and that's basically it. Hope this helped you guys, and I will see you guys in the future. Bye.